In this video I'm going to show you how to set up serial communication between an ATmega 328p AVR microcontroller and your Raspberry Pi through the GPIO header. This tutorial is building upon a previous tutorial that shows you how to program this chip using the SPI header of your Raspberry Pi. If you're unfamiliar how to do that, go over that tutorial and you'll know how to wire it all up like shown here and you'll know how to be able to uh, program the chip and you'll have all the settings established on your Pi already. In this one I'm just going to show you how to set up um, uh, serial communication between the two chips. So all you're going to need in addition to this wiring up configuration here are two jumper cables and the wiring is quite simple you're going to want to connect pin 2 that is the receive pin of the AT Mega up to the transmit pin of the Raspberry Pi. This is pin 8 on the Raspberry Pi. You're also going to want to connect pin 3 on the AT Mega. This is the TX pin on the AT Mega to the RX pin of the Raspberry Pi. This is pin 10. And that's it for wiring. So, you got your transmission and receive lines of the AT Mega connected to the opposite transmission and receive lines of the Raspberry Pi. Let's get to the programming. So now that we have the AT Mega 328P serial pins connected to the serial pins on the Raspberry Pi GPIO header, we can go ahead and establish trivial communication uh, through the serial communication lines. So on your Raspberry Pi, you should have this AT Mega folder on your desktop if you were following along in the previous tutorial. And in here you can see that there's very little. You're going to want to open up an instance of your terminal, which I have done here. The first thing you need to do is configure your Raspberry Pi using sudo raspi-config, and you need to disable, through advanced options and serial, you need to disable uh, the ability to log in over serial and this will free up the serial communication lines so that your AT Mega and your Pi can communicate. So would you like the login shell to be accessible over serial? No. So okay great and then we go to finish and then it's going to ask you to reboot which you need to do. So now that your Raspberry Pi has been rebooted the next thing you're going to have to do is update it. So type in sudo app-get update and this will take a moment. Alright, so now that the Pi is updated, we're going to want to install a package using sudo app-get install minicom, and this is the package we want. This will take you a moment, but I already have it installed, so it didn't take me very much time. Minicom is a serial monitor package that you can run on the Raspberry Pi, which will allow us to interact through our serial connection with the AT Mega chip. Now let's navigate to that 18 mega folder that we have on our desktop by cd desktop slash 18 mega. And in here you can see that there is very little. So what we're going to want to do is create a INO file that we can compile and then upload to the 18 mega called serialtest.ino. And this is going to be a very simple script. So void setup uh, that allows us to um, receive a character from the Raspberry Pi, uh, transform that character into a Unicode character value and send that back to the Raspberry Pi so it does some simple processing for us. So in our setup uh, we are going to want to begin our serial connection at 9600 baud rate and then we're going to create our loop and in our loop we're going to check if the serial connection is available and if it is available we're going to receive a message from our Raspberry Pi by reading it and populating a value called message and then we're going to print a statement to the Raspberry Pi that says character received is whatever and what is that whatever that whatever is our message. So we're going to receive a message from the Pi. We're going to then say what that message was. Trivial example, quick to write, short tutorial. So save this. And now we need to make our uh, serial test.ino files. Type in make, and this will compile it to a .hex format that we can then upload to the AT Mega chip. 
Now we need to actually upload it to the chip, and this is something I should have included in the previous tutorial that shows you how to program the chip, and that is, let's create a quick upload.sh shell file that does this for us automatically, so we don't have to type out the uh, upload statement over and over again whenever we want to upload. So the command was avrdo-p m328p, so this is specifying the uh, particular AVR that we are working with. Our connection type is through the GPIO. And then we're going to want to flash the build uno slash atmega uh, dot hex file that we just compiled using make. So give that a save. And then we're going to have to change the settings of this file that we just created such that it is executable. And what are we changing? We're up changing upload.shell. And so there we have our upload.shell, and this is executable. So to execute it, just type dot slash upload.sh. And this will upload to the uh, AVR. And there we can see everything is hunky dory. So now we've successfully uploaded to the AVR. Now let's open up that package we just downloaded, Minicom. And we're going to set our baud rate to 9600 and specify a few other options here and the device to which we are going to be connecting is the one that's off of our header. We could connect to a different device that supports serial but this one is connected to our GPO, GPIO header and that's the address of that header of the uh, connection pins there. So type that in and this will open up Minicom 2.7. Now what's happening right now is the AT Mega is waiting for us to send a character th to the chip and so let's send a character. Let's send one. There we go. It says the character received was 49. That's Unicode for 1. Just like how 2 is 50, 3 is 51, and 4 is 52 versus QWERTY. So here we can see that we are actually sending something successfully to the AT Mega, and we are receiving something back from the AT Mega, demonstrating a simple connection between the Raspberry Pi and the AT Mega chip. To get out of Minicom, click Control A and then Q. And would you like to leave without reset? Sure, let's do that. And there you go, you're back to your terminal. So there you have it, simple communication between your Raspberry Pi and your AVR ATmega 328P using just a couple of wires and the GPIO header on the Raspberry Pi. I hope you enjoyed it.